Welcome back with the temperatures we're seeing this week. Our area lakes will undoubtedly be busy, but before you race off on that jet ski or inner tube, a physician wants to keep a few things in mind in this week's what's going around. It's triple digit temperatures this week across the Ozarks and no doubt folks will be flocking to the lake to find some relief. While playing on the water is a lot of fun, it also comes with a lot of risks. Right now I think we're, we're still seeing a big influx of summer type injuries, uh, water skiing, tubing, a uh, lot of injuries. Most of those are from impact on the water and uh, concussions are a big one as well as ruptured eardrums. Dr. Jamie Jones is a Cox Health emergency health physician. He says some quick thinking can save yourself the pain of a ruptured eardrum. You know, always coach people. I taught my kids growing up when you, you know, as you're making uh, a fall to the, to the water, make sure to throw a hand up some way to break that impact on the water because it's, you know, at, at 20 plus miles up to 30 to 35 miles an hour, that's it, like hitting a brick wall. And Dr. Jones says the symptoms will set in quickly. It's immediate pain and that starts to, to, to dissipate, but there's an initial significant pain to the ear. And then often, oftentimes there'll be a small amount of fluid drainage. And that's usually the indication that there's been a rupture. The other thing you immediately perceive is you're not translating um, waves through that ear, so your hearing decreases. Dr. Jones says while you don't need to head straight to the ER, you shouldn't get back in the water either. We encourage people, of course, we see ruptured eardrums from, from infections or impact, and we encourage people to keep uh, cotton in the ear when they're around, around water so they don't get any kind of, even in the shower, they don't get any kind of water in that ear. A lot to be careful of. And Dr. Jones also said people need to be extra careful in these high temperatures we're seeing this week. He said people need to get out early in the day. That's gardeners, that's your athletes going back to school, starting their practice. So go inside from 10 to 2, try and get those things done early in the morning or late in the evening. And he says if you are suffering from heat illness, some of those early symptoms, you're just not going to feel good. You're going to have nausea, headache, dizziness, and fatigue. But when a person faints, collapses, is disoriented or stop sweating, that is a big sign. Get them to the ER as quickly as possible.